Hey everyone, Savannah here. I'm going to make a little bonus video uh, showcasing my project bags just for the heck of it, I guess. I have two big bins full of project bags. Most of them I made and then some are from others. And so I will let you know um, what patterns I used and who the others are from. <laughs> Let's get started. I got two large bins, so I got quite a bit. Um, I'll show you my small ones first. So these project bags, um, this was a tutorial by Jen Crafts here on FlossTube. She did a tutorial a while back on how to make two different sizes of um, these vinyl front um, project bags. And it was super easy to follow along, so I kind of went to town. Um, I have a little flamingo one. I made my daughter a matching one. Um, I still need to start that pattern. <laughs> I have this little one. Just random. I believe I got this fabric at Hobby Lobby a while ago. I don't know. I need to start this one too. This little one. I really like that. This was from Hobby Lobby too. I have this started, but barely. <laughs> and then this one, these fabrics are from Joann's. This one's filled with, I forget what size this is. Eleven by eight. So as you can see, it fits these, these smaller ones perfectly. So those are my small ones. I only made those four. And then I have like a custom size because I cut my fabric wrong. <laughs> but so it's kind of like a medium. And these are fabrics, the Halloween fabrics at Joann's last Halloween. The inside fabric is like bat anatomy. Super cute. So yeah, you can see here. It's kind of a, just like an inch bigger than the small. Again. Accidental. I made a matching one for my friend Nicole. Okay, and then my bigger ones. Yep, these are... Yeah, okay, so these are my bigger ones that I made. So I kind of like to do themed project bags as best as I can. Like, I didn't even have this pattern. Um, I didn't even buy this pattern until after this bag was made, but Joanne's Fabrics... Just a bunch of compasses, and I have a compass pattern inside, but the inside fabric is just like, there's a metallic gold on this shiplap type of material. I guess I could have showed you all the other ones too. This one, uh, so this is the bigger size, like I showed the last one too. These are the bigger size that Jen showed. Um, I can't, I'm not going to measure this one this time, but... Um, if you follow her tutorial, you can make these. These fit perfectly for a 8 by 11 piece of paper. And you can use fat quarters. Like this was a fat quarter from Joann's, and I believe the interior was a fat quarter as well. Yeah. So you can see the zipper on the inside, but you know what? It's still, it's less steps, and it's not that big of a deal. I went to town. I went gung-ho and made a ton of these. I got my clear front, or the vinyl, I got that at Walmart. It was incredibly cheap at Walmart to get. So, and it's thicker. It's on the thicker um, vinyl. So I like that. But this one is Joann's Fabrics. I really like the eucalyptus um, print. I think that's what this plant is. And then the interior is like a white barn wood print. This one was leftover fabrics in my stash. I kind of just threw them together from an older style of project bag that I had made in the past, which I'll show you because I still have a couple of those. And the interior is just a green these fabrics are from Joann's too. It's the Quilter Showcase line. This one was the first one that I made using Jen's tutorial. Patriotic. 
Um, I believe these were fat quarters from Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. I went, went ham. I really like them. Another eucalyptus one. This time I put um, the, the light green check inside. I bought these as like yardage because I loved it so much. And the last one that I have, yeah, last one I have that I made is this one. These are a fat quarter from Joann's. Just when they had a sale on fat quarters, I kind of just was like, ooh, this one and this one. Yep. So those are those. Big old stack right there. And then these are my... These are my older style. This is the older style. Oh, I'm not too fond of these just because, you know, you can't see exactly what's in them. So I, well, this one just has a little funky thing I got with, um, so I ordered my zippers from Zip It, zippers on Etsy, best zippers around. And sometimes you get a little freebie zipper pull. So I found these, I think this was Fat Quarters from... Joann's. Yeah, I just used the, that as the interior as well. Uh, I found these, this pattern online a long time ago. I want to say it's like a magazine style, because obviously, you know, it's for size. I can't remember exactly. Um, like I said, I don't even make these anymore just because I don't like this style. Um, fat Quarters, again, from Joann's. Uh, I just put more of that inside thought it was super cute and that's the backing covered in cat hair um this one th these fabrics were from Hobby Lobby I actually bought these fabrics to make a bag for a friend and there was enough left over to make myself one this I don't remember where I got that it was in the mail I just used the polka dots on the inside I got it with something in the mail I can't remember but it matched like perfectly. Um, some this is the quilter showcase material from uh, Joann's, and I just put. I think this was the first one I made because look, there's just white on the inside, and more of that quilter showcase fabric. This is a smaller size compared to this size. Um, I didn't line anything in these. I think the pattern called for like interfacing or or fusible fleece inside. I didn't because I'm. I think these were meant for. See, I just used scrap fabric on the inside. It's a yellow gingham. Um, I think this was meant for like an iPad or something. So. And then this is another one that I made. I, and this one was I. I tried the. There was like a tab instructions to the pattern. I tried it on this one, but I didn't need it. It's in there. Oh, Stacy Nash. Ooh. I need to start that one. So those are the ones that I made in that style. Um, before I show all the gift ones. Oh, I do have one more actually in the other style. So this is the quilter showcase fabric again. Um, just, I kind of went crazy. Just yellow on the inside. This has a chatelaine in there. Just the fabric. No pattern or, or the floss because I keep that separate. Alright, so those are the ones that I made in that style. Um, the other style I have. Ugh, they're heavy. So many. These are the envelope style. And the pattern. Ooh, sorry guys. The pattern is from Vana. The Twisted Stitcher. Oh, I might have to raise this up. Just a little. Because these are... These are bigger. So it's just... um, Oops. You know, just an envelope fold. These are really easy to make. Um, I did not add Velcro because... I'm not a fan of Velcro. So, and nothing ever falls out because I always keep them. I keep them stored up. Like this, I don't 
go crazy with them. Um, that's my interior. I want to say my interior was a, yeah, this was, this one was a fat quarter, this green. And then on the other side, I just put black. And then this fabric is from Joanne's yardage. This next one, um, this is a knit fabric, like it's stretchy for clothing. It's a labyrinth style. I got this from, I got it online, like Facebook. I think it was called Backstitch Fabrics or else it was Zorel Fabrics. Either one, because I had to have my labyrinth. And I just put um, some scrap gingham inside. <laughs> yeah, these are... These are super easy to sew up. This one is a llama one that I made. You can see the orientation is wrong because I only got a half yard and I didn't realize how the orientation was going to go. This is more of a duck cloth I got at Hobby Lobby a while ago and I put more of that gingham inside. Um, oh, I also put these eyelets in there so that I could put a tag. Um... On there, I, I really like that feature. Uh, this is another one of those fabrics. It's a knit fabric, a stretchier fabric. Um, I got this one. Actually, I bought this second hand from somebody. Somebody bought like two yards of it and they didn't want any more. I spent a ton on it, but you know what? I love it. Um, just put purple on the inside. Yep, just purple on the inside. Again, had a Why is that not focus? Anyway, it's just a little eyelet on there. And then I have my Game of Thrones one. I bought this fabric from Joann's. Um, oh, and then there's matching more Game of Thrones fabrics from Joann's when they had it. Um, I keep my Game of Thrones pattern in here. My big, my big, big one. Again, the orientation of the fabric is the wrong way, but I don't care. Another labyrinth one said extra fabric I actually put snaps on this one I tried to sell this pa uh, project bag a while ago but nobody wanted it so I just kept it for myself that's why it has snaps on it for anybody who actually preferred to have a closure and that's where I got the idea for the eyelet because I was like somebody's gonna want to know what they have in there so that one's that one. And my last llama one. Again, this is more like a duck canvas, duck cloth um, fabric from Hobby Lobby. Orientation was crazy again, but I don't care. So that is the envelope style from Vana, the Twisted Stitcher. You can go find that. It's super easy to make. And then the last one are gift, gift project bags. Oh, or ones that I purchased from other people. So this one, I won. It's just a little bitty one. I won this one on a Facebook giveaway. It's little puppies. I used to keep this one in my purse all the time for like a travel piece, but I UFO'd the project that's in there. <laughs> and so now it just sits in my bin for now. Uh, this next one I purchased myself. It is a... Oops, Sorry, it's a labyrinth one. This is from Dark Side Bags on Instagram. She does a monthly, like, oh, what's it called? Like a monthly bag club. And it you get, there's two different themes each month. And then within those themes, there's a different set, you know, like, option to purchase. And this one came with a this zipper pull. And it came with a, a needle minder, a Jareth. Needle minder. So there's the dark side bags made by Jen. Again on Instagram. And these are bigger than my size that I make. Just a little bit. So they have to go in a different bin. This one I won from Shelly Kiex Stitch. It's just a little foxy bag. Some cute polka dots. The inside is just this really nice denim looking. Uh, whoa, focus. Just a denim blue. So I won that one from her. And then I sent material to, um, oh my gosh, Cheryl. 
Oh, Cheryl, what is your channel name? Oh my goodness. I can't remember. I am so sorry. Um, she made project bags for quite a while last year. So I sent her some fabric that I had and she was, I only asked for one bag and she was sweet enough to give me two. Um, and she made the, the zipper pulls to go with them, but it's just, um, little quilt, you know, like little shops. So it says, you know, there's a quilt, a florist and coffee and a bakery and it's super cute. And she paired it with just a green. Um, and then the other fabric that I sent her, well, I sent her, I think there was another one, but it was a different color background, but it's just, you know, sewing accoutrements and she paired it with a, with that fabric. It's like a diamond polka dot. And that, so yep, I have all those bags. Those are all of my, oh, there it goes. I am going to, <laughs> all my bags. I have a lot. Not all these, well, I guess just the only ones that aren't started are mostly in those small bags. So I need to get to it so I can free up some bags. <laughs> all right. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll see you in a couple days for a regular update video. Bye. Hi guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's two more bags. Um, my current project that I'm working on is stored in this one. This is a bag that I made for myself and Heather Sunshine Hev on Instagram. Because um, we started this, the project that I have in here, we started it together. So I made it us matching bags. These fabrics are from uh, Hobby Lobby, I believe. And then this one I purchased. Um, I should take this out because it's got fancy inside too. I purchased this one from Dark Side Bags. It's my first bag from her. Um, she had one extra at the time when she made these and I, I didn't care the price. I was like, I need this. As you can see, it is a Game of Thrones bag. Like, look at this fabric. It is gorgeous. I wish I could just find this fabric on my own so I could, like, make a knitting project bag with it, too. <laughs> this is so pretty. So, yep, those are my other two. And I keep my other Game of Thrones project in here. See, I keep, I keep that one in there. Gotta have my themes, right? Um, that's it, guys. All right, done. Now I gotta put these stinking videos together. Have a good day.